welcome to a night of total terror. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. You must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotion. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all time. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. First came the night, then came the dawn. Now comes the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. Welcome back to Thursday of the Dead, episode 264. My name is Chase. As you can see from the title of this episode, this is a Lucio Fulci zombie art print unboxing. Uh, the artist is Robert Semelin. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is, I think, a limited edition of 100 prints. These are 24 by 36. Very well packed, as you can see me struggling to rip open the box. Uh, I appreciate that, though. I mean, I have very mixed experiences with getting packages. Sometimes they're packed very well. Sometimes they're packed horribly. This was like Fort Knox. So a nice box around a very sturdy tube. It's already a good sign. I've recently got into collecting these art prints instead of movie posters, uh, mainly because the size, uh, they're generally 24 by 36 versus a movie poster that's a 27 by 40 or a 27 by 41. It's easier to frame these things and they take up a little less space. I also like the idea of original art based on movies that I like. Someone on my Facebook had commented that the woman in this photo or this artwork looks like Sherry Moon Zombie. She does a little bit in this image, but I can tell this was actually taken from a screen capture from the movie, uh, just with her face and they altered with the injury. Very cool art. I like the zombies coming over the Brooklyn Bridge at the bottom. I would buy a poster of just that. I'm trying to show you like all of the detail in it. And there's Robert Semelin. And now I will show you it framed. So I'm buying these frames on Amazon. They're actually very nice. They're interesting because they don't open like a conventional frame. They flip up from the top. And so it's a little tricky getting them into the frame. But once they're in, you flip that top down, hang it up. It looks great. Thanks for watching. See you next week.